Well, hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today, I'm going to show you guys my OCD Customs Complaint Card Custom Truck by Spin Master Monster Jam. <laughs> Back everyone today's my first ever spin master moss jam custom video uh, these are my personal customs not anyone else's so this is my first video showing off one of them uh, basically the reason why i have not done i have not been doing many customs is because i've been learning a new process which involves powder coating the trucks instead of painting them which lets them uh, pretty much be uh, factory grade so actually even more uh, higher grade than factory these are pretty um, close to indestructible uh, to an extent as long as you're playing fairly rough with them they should not chip they should not dent nothing should happen to the paint or as in this case powder coat but we'll just call it paint so these are very durable uh trucks that's what i'm trying to say here so uh anyway i've been learning that process it's not an easy process it's still something i'm still working on uh nothing's completely 100 percent to my standards but uh, i'm getting closer every single day with this stuff it's not easy like i said but um, like I said, also, I'm getting closer to uh, the quality that I want. So this is my first ever Spin Master um, official product uh, OCD Customs complaint card truck. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, and many people actually don't know, uh, this is based off of this card here that comes with every single uh, Spin Master merchandise. So basically anything from Monster Jam to the tech decks, I'm, I think, uh, to um, big things like the um, Hatchimals. They all should include a problems questions card. Of course, if you guys have any issues, you can call these numbers uh, for your country on here. And I thought, well, you know what? It would be hilarious to have a truck with this design. Uh, so I created it for the Orlando show, obviously World Finals 20. Uh, this is my prototype one. It's actually holding up my camera. This is the first ever product. I'll just Put something else there to hold it up but uh this was my first ever one however it was a prototype stage it's not um my final product this is the final product one right here so you can see here it had black rims originally the grill and the front bumper were also different than the final product and uh, just a couple more tweaks also the paint color is different you can see here it's darker yellow now i think it's a little better than the brighter yellow and overall some improvements some decal quality improvements and of course uh just always kind of trying to improve stuff as i go along so this is my prototype complaint card truck and this is my final product one now i just did a giveaway on instagram for this truck someone won it my friend uh tom pearson in canada custom diecast on instagram won this thing i will be sending it to him soon but i wanted to review it before i send it out so here it is the complaint card ocd custom truck uh this is my first ever one officially like i said final product one uh and it is powder coated so it's pretty uh, nice. You can see how shiny powder coat is. Um, there was a couple issues. You can see here this little light spot uh, and also on the hood uh, right there. There was some issues with the uh, the grounding of the part, which means the electrostatic energy and stuff that is required for powder coating. So it's a whole long process. Basically, powder coating is using electricity and um, negative and positive charges to uh, lock on the paint and then bake it on. Uh, so if the electricity is messed up in any way, you'll see these little areas um, as such as this little spot right here on the part um, right there. So you can see there, that's where some electricity was a little messed up. So anyway, it happens. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning and it's not an easy process, trust me. It looks easy on video, but it's not easy to set it up. So uh, anyway, here's the complaint card. So I, I have an injury on my finger, so I'm trying to avoid my index finger being in the video, but you can see here, uh, here's the side panel. So I added the problems questions piece right here on the side. I took the North American number and, um, well, I took the North America part and then the number and I put on this side, the right side panel. I took the customercare.com uh, or at uh, spinmaster.com. I put a black stripe along the bottom and I put that uh, on top with the yellow. Uh, the uh, little circle here with the question mark comes from this thing right here. And then the Monstrum logo, obviously, just that's there. Uh, it has a little black bumper on the side of the fender. Uh, and then we have the uh, front grill, which is black. We have the Spin Master logo in the middle, which was an idea by Mike Bev. Uh, I did change that in another product, which I'll show you guys in the future. Uh, there's a new emblem I use, but this was my prototype, I guess, for the new grill. I'm not going to use this style anymore, but you can see the Spin Master logo in the front grill. And of course, spinmaster.com right there on the bumper, uh, which was not a feature of my previous uh, prototype one. And then, of course, the headlights I put in there, same headlights as the Escalade uh, or the same Escalade style headlights that they've been using for the Ford bodies. I did not use the updated ones yet. 
And of course, the guy on the, um, the man on the little um, part on the hood here, we have from this portion here. And then on the roof, that's actually the international complaint card. It's hard to see because it's so tiny, but there's an international complaint card that comes with fire and ice vehicles. And that's what that is up there. And of course, I started adding this thing to all my customs, the OCD Customs negative space bar. So you guys know this is my official product. You can see there, that will be on all my custom concepts. Nothing for replicas though. I will not do replica um, OCD Customs negative space bars, but I will do it for the custom concepts. So there's OCD Customs on the negative space bar. And of course the problems questions right there, pretty much this top portion of the card and this bottom portion of the card just translated onto this area. And then on this side panel, we have the international side. So we have uh, these numbers here, UK, Ireland, and Australia, all right there on this side panel. And of course, same stuff for the problems questions. I also decided to go with gray rims. I think it looks really cool with gray rims, uh, just stands out a little better and it helps the yellow be its own character. I feel like with the black rims, it just took away from the yellow. I don't know why, but it, there's a lot of black going on. And then we have a little bit of yellow. So I think the gray rims helps it kind of pop off with the yellow and that is my complaint card truck so uh, i do plan on making a few of these for sale uh, a lot of people want me to and i think that i will however i just really want to find a paint color that matches better powder coat color that matches better than this one does but i do think it's not that bad it's pretty close to how i want it and again this is how powder coat looks when it's correctly done see how shiny that is uh there is still some issues with this one uh and i will work on that in future products but i did get a very good one and i'll look at it in the next video for my customs uh wherever it went i just put it aside here it is the breast cancer awareness one uh for the spin master Moss Jam customs or OCD customs. You can see here how shiny this is and perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. This product is exactly how powder coat should look. And it was my, uh, it is my pride and joy for my current customs, but we'll look at that in a future video. Uh, this has been the standard OCD customs complaint card truck. Again, congratulations to Tom Pearson for winning this thing. It's going back to Canada where of course, spin master, the big HQ is. So it will live up in Canada for the rest of its life. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this custom in the comments below. This is Ryan Armashiam OCD, signing out.